as soon as the third car comes in, the traffic light becomes green. But we did it in one hour. So you can see me uh, at the back there. You will not see any wiring. So we will provide you with the designs. For example, this is the McDonald design. We will provide you with the actual model file. Uh, $97 is not what we usually offer. If you go to any course, we start from 147. You can click on any course and you will not see $97. So this is the right time to actually get hands on this. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. We are about to launch the Smart City course in just one day, 10 hours and 36, 35, 34 <laughs> seconds. So uh, I just wanted to share some of the demos. So this is a course that will provide you with a lot of details of how to create a smart city with the hardware details and the software details as well. And we have broken it down into functions so that you can use those functions again and again in different projects. So it's not like we created it once and that's it. You have to create completely from scratch when you create another project with similar, uh, what do you call uh, um, ideas, then all you have to do is you have to take those functions. You can even put all those functions in a utility file and, this, and then just make it a module. So all of these details are shared and we have a lot of projects and uh, I believe the trailer has been out for a while, but one of the projects was missing, which was the smart traffic light. So I did mention it, but it was not shown what exactly it does. So today I will show you the demo of this project so that you can see what exactly it does. So now we are going to go ahead and look at our next project, which is the traffic light. This is a smart traffic light, which will decide based on real time data. So the idea is that you can see here right now, there are two cars. Now, if there is a third car, then there's not a big deal, but if the fourth one comes in, it will block this area. So right now, if the fourth car comes in, it will block this region and then the traffic from the other sides is going to get blocked as well. So what happens is that you can see the traffic light here on the left hand side. Right now it's red. As soon as the third car comes in, the traffic light becomes green. So if we move the cars around and there you go. Now the traffic light after a few seconds will automatically go back to red. Now, what we can do is we can simulate this again by pushing this car forward and we will place this car here. And then I will bring in the third car. And as soon as I bring that in, you will see the traffic light goes on again. This car goes on the side, this car goes as well. And now this car comes here because the traffic light went red again. So the idea is to not block this region. Otherwise the cars, they are coming from this side, they will have an issue or the cars coming from this side will have an issue moving around. So as soon as this region is filled, uh, we have this green region. As soon as that region is filled, then we prioritize our traffic light to give a green signal so that the other cars, they can move and the traffic is not jammed. So if I push this in, you can see the traffic light goes green. And then if I move this, then we bring in the next one and it goes red. So that's the basic idea of how this project works. So we are going to have a look at how we can code this and we will look at the Arduino code and we will look at the Python code as well on how this traffic light is working and how the coding part in the computer vision is working. So as you saw, the tra smart traffic light is what we are going to build as a project in one of the parts of our computer vision uh, smart city course. So we will provide you with the designs. For example, this is the McDonald design. You can print this on A4 paper and you can simply cut uh, using a foam board and it will give you a perfect fit. And similarly, we have the roads, we have the buildings, we have the school. So you can create all of this very easily. Even kids can do this. And not only that, we also have uh, a lot of different blocks through which you can create your own city design. 
So if you wanted to create it very, very big, then yes, you can do that as well. If you wanted to make it even smaller, you can do that as well. If you wanted to have uh, roundabouts, curves, all of that, uh, I believe it's shown somewhere over here, yeah. So here, for example, it's shown that you can create any design that you want. And uh, the good thing about this is that if you wanted to actually use this uh, technique, then you will have to detect mini cars, right? So for example, this is a mini car. Now, the normal detection models like YOLO, uh, YOLO X is the biggest one, and it cannot detect these cars properly. So what you do is you train them custom uh, to create a custom model. So what we did, we took around 15,000 images and we trained it. But you might say that it will take too long to actually do that. So it, it might take 60 hours to actually do that. And if you give it to someone, it might cost you more than $500. But we did it in one hour. So you can see me uh, at the back there. And I was collecting the data. I was training it. There you go. And it took me around one hour, uh, give or take. And uh, I was done with it. So it did not take a long time. So we will provide you with the actual model file. If it does not work well for you, you can go ahead and train it. So for example, if you were detecting helicopters or if you were detecting something else, then, then you can use the same technique to actually uh, do that. And uh, of course, there is a secret hack behind it that we will share within our course. What is that secret hack that saved us uh, so many hours of labor work and we will also provide you with the 3d printable files so you can 3d print these designs and as you can see here you will not see any wiring so that's how good uh, this design is and that's how good the wiring is that it looks so clean and elegant because uh, a lot of the times when students create models they are very messy and the wiring is really bad but we have made sure that none of that is a problem here. All of the wiring and everything is perfect. So as you can see here, we have a lot of wiring, but it's not shown. So we have two cameras, one servo with three wires, one traffic light with four wires, but none of the cables are shown. And we also have USB cables, a USB hub. All of that is in there, but it's not shown, right? So that's the best part. And then uh, of course we are providing the curriculum as well through which you can teach it to students, to kids, to university students, uh, and so on. So the, uh, this is all the hardware that is required. Uh, and uh, of course, these are some of the numbers. Uh, I believe now it has crossed 5 million, uh, the drone programming course, and this has crossed, I believe, 3 million. So it's, it's one of the top ranked courses. Uh, currently it's number one, but sometimes it fluctuates here and there so that's the idea so in the basic part you will uh, get uh, the designs uh, a few designs and you will get uh, a few uh, what do you call projects and then in the advanced part you will get some more projects you will get some more designs and then in the pro version you will pretty much get everything but if you want to get everything you have to go for the educator and uh, this is uh, by everything i mean the curriculum as well if you want to for teaching, then you can get that. And then, of course, the difference here in these are uh, the student licenses. Uh, you will get five, you will get 10, and you will get 30. So these prices, you can see live right now, they will change in two days uh, or one day and nine hours. So make sure you pre-order now and you will get access. By the way, we are enrolling. We are basically pushing the content already. So there is some content already uploaded and we are uploading it uh, slowly. And uh, by the launch, it will be completely uploaded. Uh, so you will have access to pretty much everything uh, within the course. So this is the right time to actually get hands on this. Uh, if you are familiar with our other courses, uh, $97 is not what we usually offer. If you go to any course, for example, we go to the Arduino course, let's say, we start from 147. So all of our courses, they are, uh, uh, for example, let's go to the advanced drone programming. You can click on any course and you will not see $97 uh, anywhere. So let's say, uh, we go to interactive games. Uh, there you go, $147. So this is a very good price that you are getting right now for pre-order. And later on, it will increase to the other courses as well. So, so this is it for today. I hope you will enroll in the course and I will see you there.